Hello everybody. Welcome back to Events Times UK. Yes, we are here obviously at the Park Resort once again. Yeah. Haven't been here for a month or about a month. Yes, this is true. But today is the 3rd of August, I believe. 4th of 4th August. 4th of August, sorry, I believe. Which marks exactly two months till Fright Night begins. So we've decided that we're going to come, see if there's any construction happening, see if we can see anything more going on around the Slammer site. Kind of see if there's any updates, really. Check yeah. out, see if there's any new merch. And give you um, our speculation for Fright Nights yeah. as well. Very exciting. Um, we haven't seen Hyperia go around yet today, so I am thinking it's probably not open. I haven't seen anything on socials, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Yes. I don't have ride access today either. So, so we're not doing any rides. No. Yeah. I think our first starting point is going to have a look at the Swarm Island. Yes. Well, they've charged over here to our left hand side, but here I'm sure this used to be a picnic area, but um, it seems rather cleared, Hayley. It does, and we've not been down this way before well for a while actually a while. we've obviously been down this way before but for a while and i don't know how long the picnic benches haven't been here however <laughs> we do know that it's been used for fright nights in the past yeah so it's uh, containment what's the name an escape room yeah, that they but had we know containment left and it's gone and, and it's obviously they had gone. a they had where they done the trailers for a couple of the fright night seasons as well they could maybe so. put something there again for fright nights the gates are still here so it's a big open space ish let's see what happens stick some actors in there stick the crows in there just by the marquee which i don't know the gates are open yeah, there's people seeing now right? the there must here, so. there must be an event on who knows but we're gonna gate crush it for a second um as we can see the marquee for uh survival games survival games it hasn't gone anywhere it's not gone anywhere and it is coming back it's yes. confirmed we believe it is confirmed to come back so yeah as we go around the park we'll also let you know what's confirmed and yeah. what's still so yeah that's coming back for 2024 but yeah, as we walk around to the swarm, we'll be able to see if there's anything going Any on. Any new signs, it. but it is only August, so it's still slightly early. Gonna... It's never too early to get those Fright Nights speculations right, in. Two months away, two months. Like right, the gates where you would enter for survival games. Are there anything? I don't remember all of those signs last year. No, I don't. You know the hanging bannery ones? Uh, yeah. Where am I looking? Where's the camera? These ones here. These like bannery ones. I don't remember those from last year. I think I remember the blue, the blue one. I don't know. But yeah, that's the only thing you can really see from here. Let me know if you remember it from last year. They came to the Mega Sword, see if there's any new merch. I'm not expecting anything to me, but you never know. I'm sure it's been around. This is quite a nice hoodie. Yeah. A nice candy pit mugs. Disappointed, no new merch, Hayley. No. It's not the candy pit new, well, newer well, it's, hoodie. It's, yeah, it's not new though, is it? No. It's been out for a while. No, it's quite snazzy though. Snazzy, no new pins yet. No new pins. It feels like they're waiting until Although, like autumn time. There is a Hyperia one that I've been seeing going around, but I'm yet to see it. So. And there's also a new Hyperia be hoodie as well, I believe. Yep. Let's just see if we can find that. So I haven't seen Hyperia go around, so I'm guessing it's closed at the minute or today. We'll, we'll have a look when we get round there. Try and get some we are coming up to trailers, so. Which we can actually confirm that it is coming back. Is it true? is coming back. It Whether see they it. change it up a little bit in terms of like the actual like acting experience or not, we'll find out. But because last year it was a bit hit or miss, but yeah. we'll see if there's anything going on. Cause it's got to be it's last year. Towards the beginning of the season, it did look like it wasn't going to come back, but we shall have a look and see. Definitely updated their posters. I showed you one earlier. They've got the dates on there, which are correct. 4th of October is when it starts till the 3rd of November, which is quite late, actually. That's after Halloween. Halloween event after Halloween. How does that make you Yeah, feel? but they normally have, like, the, what is it, the, the scare thing? The scare, scare exhibition or whatever it is, yeah, here as well. So. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. That's quite late for scare fest, uh, for Fright Nights. But, yeah, no sign-up as of yet. So, the actual trailers... Neon sign isn't back. No. 
So, yeah, but nothing. It, it is confirmed on Forbes website that it is coming back this year, but as of yet, no chance. It's still two months. It's still very early to be fair. To but be fair, if outside, all they need to do is add the. Um, Neon sign, and we've got a sign up here as well that needs to go back on. But other than that, it's probably almost done. So, just like to, um, before we carry on with the vlog, we noticed uh, stuck in some footage at the start of the vlog uh, about priority publicking. Yes. We haven't been able to find anything. Nope. We've oh. been on the website, there's nothing about priority parking because obviously other parts, priority parking is called. Well, it's um, paid end. for nearer the entrance kind of parking. Yeah, so like a towers, you you park right by the entrance. Yeah. Uh, rather than the car park and then get the and tram. You pay that a little bit more. Whereas here, they don't have that bar. It seems as we were walking past some of the cars, we did notice that some of them had blue badges on them. So I'm thinking whether they're just currently either using that to ex extend the disabled parking, which is great, but they need to make that clear and it needs to be open and available all day. All the time. Yeah. Um, or they're going to be moving the disabled parking to there and then Bye. maybe doing electric vehicles where the normal, where the disabled parking... Either way, it needs to stay open longer because people do arrive after midday, believe it or not. Yeah, we got here too, but also, I normally park there. But also a little niggle we had, so we just brought some Fanta slushies. Hayley went to where you get them from. It's a cashless park, but they were only accepting cash. So... We went to Burger instead. Yeah, which is an ideal because we don't get a man in discount. But if it's going to be a cashless park, it has to be cashless everywhere. Yes. And then not turn into cash. It doesn't make any they're, sense. They're not having a very good day today, are they? No, not with us anyway. But anyway, onwards and upwards. Slammer? Yes, let's bring you another update. Obviously, here we've got Slammer and uh, where Black Mirror was. Obviously, the sign is still not there. We've got some wood going in. Hmm. So we know there's a new maze coming for 2024 and we have touched on this on the channel before where it's pretty much obvious that this is where the new maze is going to be. Yes. We're but reckoning as well it could be themed around Hyperia, maybe the gods. Well it kind of it makes sense because it's Fearless Valley Fearless is connected Valley. to Hyperia. Yeah. Um, with the only thing that would kind of make sense, I don't think they would bring back... Um, Creek Freak and put it here. No. Although that being said, what I would love to see is them to maybe bring Sora alive back in, especially with another new Saw movie coming. It's relevant and it's not too far from Saw. I can't or, see that. Or have an actual like scare maze for the crows and then turn the walkthrough that's normally for the crows into something like for Saw. You never know. Because we know that they've got the Saw costumes. But yeah, there's some hefty wood there. Obviously, we know that uh, the slammer is going at the end of the season. Like, it's been... Yeah. Um, and we will get, hopefully, a new flat ride. Whatever that is. Um, well, it's safe to say that maybe the internal workings of the maze is now really being worked on? I, I think so. Yeah, definitely. There's a lovely shot of Hyperia in the sun. Ab looking absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, though, it is shut. Shot again. It is shut, but, but there is a big but here. We now have no queue fences outside the entrance of Hyperia. They have gone. This is true. No more ugly fences. So we can actually bring you a close-up shot because it wouldn't be the same if we didn't do a penis plant update. There it is. She's looking mighty fine. Hayley. Yes. Very bushy. Oh. Very He's, um... Very bushy. <laughs> Sorry. Are you choking on it now? The, the tip. The tip. Cut me off guard. Oh, dear. It's, it's left me speechless. It's left you speechless. You're eating a proper close-up shot. Look at that. What about the rampant rabbit? Don't know. Can't see it, actually. Mm. See him from here. Oh, He's yeah. He's got even bigger tips coming out. Yes. That's a deformed one now. We yeah. shouldn't say that. Yeah, it's uh, it's beginning to grow. It still would like to see maybe some barriers around here to stop people standing on it. Because oh, sitting on the rocks. Yeah, it's it's. <coughs> yeah, it would just be nice to maybe just bury it off. And you could do it with a water, I'd say. It doesn't look like they've been watered at all. All but right. Other than that, it's looking oh, good. There's a line, you know. Steaming. Woof. 
Good. There's a line, you know. Is there? Yes. What? Penis plant theme. No, I meant for how far you go with your criticism. Oh, okay. No, I stop. The plants are drowning. Okay. Anyway, should we go have a look? Should we have well, a look? I think we need to finish our drinks this time. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to look at the merch. So we'll just have a look, see what's new in the Hyperion shop. Yes, you can think of socks. Oh, they're still sold out in the bags, but they are. It's the new hoodie, I believe. I think so. No price on it, though. We've seen on mine before, haven't we? Well, there's nothing on my back. But it's the iron and stuff here, and I don't know. No, no caps either, yeah, no caps. No new pin badge either. No. I still don't know if I want to collect these ones. It's like the Thought Park logo in the different colours. Mm. Like, do I want them all? Let me know down below if you think I should get them all. Say no. <laughs> we should go one, you got them all. And the lanyards as well, I don't know whether to get all of them or just the one. Mm. It's like... Mm. <laughs> Look at the fast track queue for Saul. Rather then, long. Next thing you know, he was like, oh, I do wonder though if some people have got confused that some people are ride access, some people are fast track. But Because it is two separate queues. Yeah. So fast track and then ride access is the one next to it. Yeah. And then main. But. Yeah, we seem to have new audio actually playing around the Saul and Samurai area. Which is interesting but one thing i would love to see them do an hour a day turn all the park music off i would love that but Some... today it seems to be very fucking loud and I my think brain it's loud is screaming all season i just think maybe just an hour a day just turn off all the music around or the park or turn it down really or turn low. it down yeah maybe not like ride audio like or have an area in the park where there is no audio yeah like around here where it could be like really quiet yeah but Apart from the sounds of roller coasters. Yeah, the misters are working. That's nice. Oh, they've got the umbrellas and the benches back. Let's see, in this area is where the crows are going. Could we see the crows return for uh, 2024? I don't know. Crows back, do you reckon, Hayley, in this area? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I think it's a big so. area, isn't it? Unless they're gonna, you know. That was a massive improvement last unless season. Unless they're gonna listen and do something with saw in this area, and then the crows have their own maze. Never know. It's good speculation. We'll find out soon. But I think last year the crow, the crows in this area was pretty good. Well, they stepped it up, didn't they? Yeah. Last year it wasn't. It was more of an actual maze than just a, a straight up walk through where you might get jumped out. It was more of an actual maze, and it was really, really it good. It was really good. Yeah. So um, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, I'm expecting it back for this year, so wait and see, I guess. But no construction here just yet. Not yet, no, but it is still technically summer, so and it is two months. Two months. Give so it till September. I wouldn't expect to see anything sort of till maybe like September. end of August. Yeah, end of August, beginning of September. Oh. So in terms of events, it's a shuttle day, but look at it's now testing. Water dummies on. I mean Yeah very strange there's, there's like a massive queue out the front now of Hyperia uh, Hayley did actually get into the queue and the staff said no it's definitely closed all day it's the sign definitely says closed all day but I've just seen the water dummies go around with the caps on which would suggest that they're getting ready for it to get going we'll see if this one Slow through there. Hyperia testing without water dummies. Um, 
thought, remember what happened last time? For anybody who doesn't know, it actually still. They've opened Hyperia, haven't been shut all day apparently. Well done, Thor. Kind of. Kind of. Although, if it says shut all day, then maybe it should be yeah, shut but to all be day. Fair, it's, it's good that they've got it open. It, don't get me wrong, it's good. And where we are, it's about 20 minutes once we're in the queue, once we're actually like. Whilst doing this bright night up there, I must say, Hyperia is actually going to be a dark. Poster. They're going to make it pitch black apparently. Lights out. So yeah, that's the bright night update for Hyperia. So good to see it actually working. kind of really gets to me is we were in the queue and we overheard somebody talking about how they'd made a complaint to Thought Park and they had been given fast tracks as a solution to that complaint. Now okay that's fine if you're doing it for like you know selected complaints or whatever but when you're doing it for every single complaint and it's not just one per person, it's three per person. If you've got a family of five, that adds up very, very quickly. To me, that's creating a whole nother problem, especially if you're saying, oh, well, the park's busy. We're sorry that you've, had, you've not had a very good day because it's been busy. Here, have fast track to come back on another day. You're creating, you're just creating the issue for the next time. Yes, and you know, you know, like, just, say, just end up with people complaining about the um, queues on the fast tracks. Yeah, and it's not always a, a, a relevant solution because like, say, for me, for example, as a ride access user, if, what's, what's the solution? 
you know, it's not a perfect solution for everyone. You're just, it just creates a new issue for further down the line. There we go, rent over. We're just filming from the back on the slide. This is obviously the area at the minute that's got the screen, the Victory Plaza, showing the Olympics. But we strongly believe that um, this... So Stitches, uh, you would do it while I'm doing my hair, wouldn't you? Um, Stitches is coming back, it is confirmed. Yeah. This is the only place really that it can come back. Yeah. So obviously I don't think this will stay here. No, I think either after unless, the Olympics. Unless they're going to throw a complete spanner in the works and stitches won't come back and it's going to be more permanent where black mirror was but I mean, we they have confirmed that new maze is coming so that would make more sense to yes. put it there this will go the marquee will go back up at some point i'm guessing well they, uh, they completely created a whole wooden they did series, but they've all so. they've already got they've already made it now so i'd imagine it's just putting the pieces back together and it will go back up at the end of August, beginning of September at some point. Yes, it's more than likely, but you never know. You never know. You never know. The, we, other, um, the other place that it could be is the beach, because there was a room on the beach, but we've seen today there's people on the beach. The beach is open. We know that at least one side of the beach is open and filled up, because we saw from a distance that it was busy. The other side, I don't remember if it was Well, no, there not. was no one in there, but I definitely saw water in there. But I don't so. think they should use a beach for a maze, but anyway. There is our first Friday night update. Yes, it's that time of the year. It is that time, time of the year. Best time of the year. It is. Not much to see just yet. Um, a few rumours, a few speculations. I mean, the only thing that there is is currently what we pointed out, like, what, a month or so ago? So. Yeah, yeah. But we'll be back in a few weeks' time and see if we can see any more and uh, keep yeah. everybody posted. But yeah, so as always. It has been an eventful day. Make sure you check out. The previous vlog yes. to see what happened to Hyperia. That previous vlog basically happens in the middle of this one, so yes, um, we decided to be greedy and do two vlogs today because yes. why not? But yes, with that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification oh, bell so we you know, know what to do, and we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.